what's happening up here? What are we doing? Who's 50? Is it your 50? Get up. Get up. Yeah, yeah, get up. Have we sung happy birthday to you again? No. No? no? Well, we'll do that later.
just was it House of Haunted Hill where the, the, the yes. lady was hungry yes. about the little girl? Yes. Yeah, that was in my head the rest of the flight. <laughs> just don't close your eyes. Because you're just. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so anyway, it gave me sleep. And then I came here and then I just, you know, jet lag and whatever. I went, I went back. I, but I did get some sleep last night. I'm feeling good today. Hopefully you guys are too. Let's take some questions. Hi. Hello. My English is pretty bad, so probably I won't understand your answer. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to ask my friend who translate me. Uh, I love traveling. What new countries would you like to visit and why? Maybe a neutral country? Um, Iceland. Never been, always wanted to go. Got a friend that lives there. He keeps saying, like, come back. Uh, haven't been there yet. Uh, New Zealand, same thing. Yeah. I hear it's amazing. Never been there. I have friends that live there. Carl, Carl Urban. <laughs> He's like, what? We're mad at you. He was supposed to be here <laughs> twice. Yeah, he's fishing. All right, leave him alone. He can bring the fish. Uh. What? He can, he can bring the fish. Did you bring the fish? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm tired. I'm going to be staying on the beach. Uh, yeah, um, there's, there's a lot of different places that love to travel. Um, there's so, I mean, this, this world has a lot to offer. So, um, where, where are you from exactly? I'm from Russia. From Russia. I'd love to go see Russia. I've heard many good things from a dear friend of mine. His name is Misha. <laughs> and what? Germany. Germany? I'll be there next year. I've had Austria. Well, good night, Mike. Just kidding. It's a bad joke. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Uh, what? Yeah, we're just naming countries. Yeah, 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 we're just naming countries now. Czech Republic, been there, had a good time. Who, who else? Croatia, never been there, probably would have a good time. India, come to India. I India? India, Nepal, yes, I love it. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of places. Where? Israel. Oh, I thought you said Canada. I'm like, nah, I've been there a lot. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in Canada. Ireland, yes. I'm just, all right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm going to travel for the rest of my life. Sorry, kids. Uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Oh, okay. All right, that's enough. Thank you. It's a what? A submission. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was a submission, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get nominated. Oh come on. There was probably hundreds of submissions. Oh sorry. But if you guys get really loud online. about your voiceover, so uh, I heard that you like doing that, and I was wondering if you would ever consider doing like audiobooks. Please do. Yeah, yeah I would definitely consider that. Um, what do you think, ghost stories? Um, you can read the newspapers. <laughs> Someone's really interesting. Would be like, I could watch them read the phone book. Yeah. yeah. 
Do they even have phone books anymore? Yeah, you'll find one. Do they? <laughs> we'll find one and you can read it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> um, yeah I, I do enjoy doing the voiceover stuff. Um, it's probably something I got from my, my father, who is uh, <clears throat> who does does a lot of, of, of voice work and has been for many, many years. Um, happy Father's Day, by the way. I know it's not Father's Day here in Italy, but it is in the United States today, so to all the fathers out there, to my father, we were, we were having a little uh, a little toast in the green room, because we got a lot of dads in the green room. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I do like the voiceovers stuff, and yeah, I, I wouldn't be against doing audio books. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I like it. Sign me up. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Hello, Pizza. Uh, I wanted to know, uh, did you saw when it's there and it's from them, the model of Harry Styles uh, share a story about the uh, um, wheels on uh, you, what you say uh, about the see Harry on stage? Did you see the story? No. She say, um, um, I hope everyone gets to witness at least once. Who was that? who said this? The mother of Harry Styles. <laughs> the mother of Harry Styles. Yes. And what did she say? She shared a word on you on stage when you talk about uh, see how it on stage. It was awesome. It was uh, with. Um... Oh, she shared what I said about yes. seeing Harry Styles. Did she write uh, this line? Really? Yes. Hey, hey Harry Styles' mom. Can I get some tickets? <laughs> Say one more. Hey, Harry Styles' mom. Gorgeous, thank you. Um, how about some tickets to see your son? You know, somebody years ago gave me, I think it was his first solo album, and they were like, you're gonna, you're gonna like this. And I was like, <laughs> And then, um, and I listened to it, and I secretly liked it for years, <laughs> but I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, and now I, I don't care. I, I think he's a talented dude. I think he's got, uh, I think he's got um, uh, incredible uh, showmanship. Um, and I was not expecting to be as entertained as I was when I went to that concert, which was, I mean, I'll be honest. It, it was my daughter, it was for my daughter and her friends. They really wanted to see him. But because I take I take my kids to school every day in the car, JJ likes to DJ. <laughs> so I don't I have had to I've had to listen to a lot of Harry and, and, and Taylor. And I know more of those songs than I ever thought I would. And I don't hate them. <laughs> What's that? Happy about it. Yeah, I seem real happy about it, don't I? Um, well, I try to I try to layer that in with, and I, I told this, uh, I, I've said this before, uh, I forget where we were, but um, Phil Collins came on, it was uh, In the Air at Night, you guys know that song? I was like, oh, hey, you guys, you guys are going to listen to this, you got to listen to this, you got to listen to this. I can feel it coming in the air. And so JJ's like, can we change this? This is boring. This is like sad music. And I'm like, shut your mouth! <laughs> and then the drum solo, goo -goo, goo -goo, goo -goo, goo -goo, goo -goo. and I, <laughs> we were at a red light, and I did it. I'm like, goo -goo, goo -goo, goo -goo, ah. <laughs> and I threw my neck out. <laughs> and for the rest of the day, I was like, Thank you, Phil Collins. <laughs> Could have listened to Taylor Swift, have been fine, but no. <laughs> no, I had to get after your drum solo. Um, well, that's that's interesting news. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you Jensen. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This question is for Jensen. Uh, 
this on behalf of Dre. Because on Friday, he told us the story of his chemistry week that was the Asum. And um, one time he was caught on camera drinking beer. And you made him, like, made him sweat. Basically, you called him back, and it was Danielle, and then she had a bottle of wine, and then you pop up in the camera with wine or beer. So he asked us to ask you how you remember that moment. What was your impression of that mishap? Um, yeah, he was, so what happens is the, the Zooms, and they, they're on, and then we're like, okay, give us a second, and we turn our cameras off, essentially, the, you know, me and, and Robbie and Liam and, and the other producers, we turn our cameras off, but theirs are still on, and they're still sitting there, and we're on the phone having a discussion about them. So we muted, we turned our cameras off, and now we're on the phone having a discussion, but we're still seeing them on, on the screen. And then he sure enough, he just brings them. I think it's like a bottle of Modelo or something. And I'm like, he's drinking beer? Is he drinking, is he, is he drinking, is he drinking, I think Drake's drinking a beer. And Robbie's like, no. And Danilo's like, I think it was. And I'm like, he's hired. <laughs> like, that's it, he's my guy. That's how I remember that moment. We all laughed, and then I think we got back on, and, and that's what I was like, hey pal, you uh, you drinking? And he's like, what? No. I don't know. And he like holds up his water bottle, and he's like, oh, it's just water. He's like, yeah, what about the uh, bottle of Adele you got next to you? Like, right off screen. And he's like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, take it easy, pal. I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh, that's not apple juice. Um, that's how I remember that moment, and uh, and I never let him forget it either. It was your idea to torture him. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he's. I will say he picked up the baton very quickly in the um, messing with any and everyone, uh, including me, which I always think is funny when he tries to like prank me or mess with me. I'm just like, oh. oh. <laughs> so, just tossing his little cute head of hair. Isn't he adorable? That's how, anyway, that's, that's my drink for you. Hi. And then that 
that week, like the, the military comes by, and like, we need, we're going to war, we need all able-bodied young men. And this son had a broken leg, so he couldn't go. And now the villagers are like, oh my gosh, it's so great that they didn't take your son. And he's like, well, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, it, it's just, it keeps going of like, you never know what might be good or what might be bad in any given situation. And I just always had faith that, that it was going to, going to be positive down the road. Um, I guess you could be the person that feels like it's always going to be negative down the road, but that's no fun. Don't be that person. Yeah, thank you. I got that. It's, look that thing up, because it keeps going. There's like a whole different iteration of stuff. I'm kind of messing it up, but that's the, the general gist. It's pretty cool. I just like, 
I like fast paced, upbeat, adventurous type stuff. So, yeah, maybe something like that. If you do that in France, number one on the box of nah. <laughs> Okay. What? Time to go? But no. Oh. No! Lunchtime? <laughs> See ya. Thank you guys.